SU Podium version 2 is a completely new version of Podium. Podium remains a simple and very effective photorealistic rendering plugin for SketchUp. Let's take a look at the version 2 user interface. Podium version 2 features can be accessed from the pull down menu in SketchUp. or from the toolbar. Let's take a look at options. You can click on viewport for viewport resolution size or click on the fixed sizes from this menu. Or enter desired pixel size from here. There are three file formats supported. Your rendered image will get saved in your model folder or a custom folder. There are several presets. In this video we are using the default preset. When transparent is checked on, Podium will create PNG images with transparent backgrounds. This will allow you to insert your own sky background in an image editor. The Environment tab allows for several environment options. The default is SketchUp Sky, which will render the sky based on your SketchUp style. The sky is Podium's physical sky. You must have shadows on for the physical sky to get rendered. Clay is where textures are ignored and the entire model is rendered in the default front face color of SketchUp, like a clay model. Caustic will apply a caustic effect to transparent materials globally. Soft Omni Shadows is a global setting for Omni or Point Lights. The default setting is for this option to be checked off. However, if you want Soft Shadows to be applied to Omni Lights to create a natural lighting effect, turn this on. You can see the difference between Soft Shadows on and Soft Shadows off here in these two images. However, Turning this option on will slow down the rendering significantly. Sun sliders give you some control of the podium sunlight. Let's look at the podium material properties interface. In Podium version 2, you apply reflection, refraction, bump maps, and LAM lights to textures. The properties are applied to a specific texture globally. Select the texture by highlighting it, or by using eyedropper, or selecting it from the SketchUp Material browser. Then apply the Podium properties to that texture. The Diffuse Transparency and Reflection sliders must total a sum of 100% to get good results. Let's go over light options briefly. Lights are discussed in more detail in the light videos. There are two types of natural lights, sky and sun, and two types of artificial lights. One type of artificial light is LEM or light emitting material. This light is applied to a texture using the podium material properties. LEM has a high intensity option. Typically high intensity is not needed. Another type of light is omnidirectional lights, or point lights.
Insert point lights to the model to get Omni lights. You can edit the light power by selecting the light group and then selecting light properties. Or you can find the light group from Outliner and then click on Light Properties. As shown before, soft Omni shadows can be turned on from the Options menu. Now let's take a look at a rendering with both Omni and LEM lights. The following is an example of rendered image with spotlights. And this is using the Podium light system. Let's take a look at the rendering process. I will render a model without reflections or artificial lights. I'll turn Sky on and click the Render icon. Podium takes several rendering steps. One is Process Geometry, and then the Podium Render Manager gets invoked. Pre-rendering calculations are made. Ray Tracing, you can click on Preview to see a dynamic preview during ray tracing. And finally, Resampling, or Anti-Aliasing. 